Y'all are saying it so loud in your heads, but you don't want to look like a dick on camera. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are watching if a hundred strangers can find the hottest person today. If you're new to my channel, hi, you and I are already in love, so just go ahead and subscribe so we can make it official, okay? I do commentary and review film, and I write a poem at the end of this video inspired by what we watch today. So, let's get started. We brought a hundred people together, and one of them believes they're the hottest person here. Oh, this is really up, honestly. <laughs> Every single person in that room signed up to be a part of this video. They do a cast for this. A hundred of y'all knew exactly what the fuck y'all were signing up for. And they were like, oh, this is so fucked up. Like, this is so like, oh my gosh, this is so mean. It's like, y'all knew what y'all were doing. People already do this when they're by themselves. People know instantly who they are attracted to and who they're not attracted to. Y'all know who the fuck is hot or not. I think y'all are just, y'all are just afraid of how you're gonna look on camera when you say that person's not attractive or someone's more attractive than someone else. Do the job. Do the math. Let's see if they can find the one. Are you guys ready? We're not really here to have fun, you know. So for the first round, we're asking the people who believe they're the 10 least attractive people in the circle to leave. She was basically like, all the uggos, get the fuck out of here. Uggos, to the left. Bad bitches. To the right. I don't know if it's the cut or if it's Jubilee, but they have this segment where, or I think it's called Nectar. They rank people based on attractiveness, which isn't just their looks, but like the overall package of like their personality, how they think, and that overall makes someone attractive. But in this experiment, you are just, from my understanding, you are literally just going off of face. Y'all are saying it so loud in your heads, but you don't want to look like a dick on camera. If I was in there, I'd be like, let's be fucking for real. All right, let's be for real. Come on, I was just kidding. I like the Mary Beauty contest. <laughs> I think beauty is so subjective. Like Growing up, I didn't feel that attractive. You know, I was kind of on the nerdy side. A lot of peers and interactions from people uh, kind of gave me that confidence boost. What do you guys think? Are you attractive? Um, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Are you in the top 90? Uh, top 90, yeah. For sure. Top, yes. Yeah. I think he's hot. Because I get it. Beauty is in the eye of a beholder. I fucking hate that line. Beauty is subjective, yes. But I think that this guy is pretty attractive. I would put, I would place him up there. I feel like I can make top 90. Okay. Yeah. And then and then things might get sticky. Yeah, it gets a little sticky. It gets a little dicier. I've body dysmorphia and not knowing what I look like most of the time. So I don't know how other people would perceive me because I don't perceive myself at all. Like yeah. sometimes even your own family may make you feel ugly, yeah. especially like oh, yeah. growing up in a Hispanic family because my mother's Puerto Rican and they like to nitpick on you so much. But then I just learned how to grow out of that. Please leave the circle if you believe you are one of the 10 least attractive people here. In three, two, one. Goodbye No! no. Perceiving myself in the world has been like really the biggest struggle for me. So it was my way of being in control. Like I'm just gonna take myself out now so that I won't have to go through the stages. I'm gonna hand you a card and in the card is the number you got on the poll. I wasn't expecting it because it is something that I do struggle with and knowing that there were like a lot of people um, rating, I just automatically know like it's just me in my head like oh they're gonna rate me way different than they did. I am so chronically online. I've just seen how really mean people can be and how people can get and the shit that people say and the shit that people think. When I absorb all that and I know how people operate, to be honest, I thought they were gonna rate her a lot lower just because she is a black girl and you know because to be a black girl, you have to have like fucking like a lot going for you. In these types of videos where it's a matchmaking, they are rarely chosen. They, they are not chosen as often as their white counterparts. It's further perpetuating this idea that black women are just not seen as attractive. It's perpetuated so much in media. It's perpetuated in, in you know, reality TV. I am surprised. And not to say she's not, but I'm saying the internet is fucking mean. Okay, so only one person thinks they're the least attractive. We need nine more people to leave. <laughs>
You should only remain in the circle if you believe you're in the top 50. I can think someone's like gorgeous and someone else can think, oh, they're okay, you know what I mean? So it's like, the thought of staying makes me want to throw up, but the thought of leaving also makes me want to throw up. I feel like I can look at myself on different days and like oh, see yeah. a completely different person. Oh, based on my appearance, I'd probably vote myself out. What? Really? Why? Just like, I don't know. Is it because maybe you don't like put yourself out there or? I think energy can carry a lot. Yeah. And also just like, I'm curious to see how the top will look diversity levels. Because I mean, everyone has underscored biases, subconscious biases. If they actually chose a black woman to be the hottest person in this room, I feel like it would be considered like a pity thing. Like, oh, like, so we don't seem racist, we'll make her the hottest person in the room. You know what I'm saying? Not like actually like, no, like objectively, she is the hottest person in this room. You know what I mean? Like not having it be a fucking charity thing. People who exude self-confidence and smile are more attractive, essentially, than people who just look good, but then can't present themselves. She's telling the truth. No, the girl with all the tattoos left and her and I would have... No, we literally... <laughs> She's so hot. No, now, if you don't believe you're in the top 50 most attractive people, please leave the circle. In three, two, one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 40 people do have to leave. <gasps> no! Since not enough people are leaving, I'm gonna have to pair people up and you'll decide amongst yourselves who will leave the circle. I'm ugly and I'm proud! I am ugly and I'm proud! I'm ugly and I'm Talking about it, it was kind of hard uh, because you have to be not only humble but honest, self-aware. Um, a lot of hard decisions that a lot of people made. Would the person who decided they were less attractive please leave the circle now? Okay. Okay. Um, I got a four, and this is out of ten. And I honestly don't mind the score. Got a nine. I feel like it's kind of high. May even be feedback that probably should spend a little more time on fitness. I mean, I would have put myself like a eight, maybe. May have to consider dyeing my hair someday. Only remain in the circle if you believe you're in the top 10. I'm in the top 10. I think you are. Do you think I am? Really? I think this is the time to tell people how it is if they're really attractive. You're going to be very disappointed. I'm having conversations with so many people and everyone is so now we're gonna pare it down to the top 10. And remember that people in an online poll voted for you. So only stay in if you thought you would be in the top 10% of those people. Finally. Only one of you was voted the most attractive in this attractiveness poll. So we're gonna go around the circle and I want you to explain who you think it is. I think it's one of the girls, probably Nandi, in my opinion. She just fits like the American beauty standard. I would think Maddie is the top female and then I think Gavin would be the top male. I definitely have to agree. Uh, Gavin is the top guy for sure and Nandi is a top female. It would be Gavin, Haley, and Isabella. Why do they put them in such terrible lighting for this final? Why couldn't it have been a spotlight or something? It just makes everyone look unattractive. I think of Nandi or Haley for sure. Gavin and Kiz, y'all are very beautiful. Nandi, I saw her earlier and I was like, oh, she's like before anything, I was like, oh, for sure her. Gavin probably is for the male and is for the girl, Naomi. And I know we're not basing this off of personality, but like you just have this like joy about you that I really appreciate. So. so if you think it's Gavin right now, raise your hand. And if you think it's Nandi, raise your hand. It's time to leave the circle and find out if Nandi is the one. I know I was gonna cry. <laughs> I've been put on a pedestal of hatred my whole life. Being black in America, I've had a lot of interactions online with people and I kind of really don't care how people perceive me. The idea of people perceiving me is just so weird. This number doesn't really validate or invalidate anything about me. I'm very much me. If the light turns green, you're the one. If the light turns red, you're ugly, you're disgusting, I'm gonna kill you, give me $200. Light change in three, two, one. 
Everyone that I met today is honestly so beautiful inside and out. I model full time, so I'm always told about things that I can improve on or things that could help me look better. So hearing- I thought that they were honestly gonna put that girl that was like, yeah, well, why do you think that? It's more like your inner life. I'm surprised she was in the top 10 because she was very pretty, tall, good skin, white, blonde. I don't feel like this was fair. I would have liked more of a diverse range of people that looked similar to her that, you know, she kind of stuck out like a sore thumb. Y'all gonna hate me. I felt like I saw a lot more mid people than a mix of like attractive people. This is hilarious. I would say those people are five out of ten at best and they are still- Yes! No one wants to be the person that's like, I'm the attractive person. And we all know it! Because then it makes you look like a bitch. Because it's like, how dare you think that you're attractive? I'm supposed to tell you that. How you feel about yourself is supposed to be validated by outward sources, not coming just from you. I get that everyone is attractive in their own way, but a lot of these people are need to They really, really do. That top ten was not an accurate top ten. Let's be fucking for real. If anything, no one should have talked. No one should have talked. Only in the confessionals. Let's, let's just go off of looks. Everyone just look at each other, and if you believe that you're unattractive, go ahead and leave. No one should have said a fucking thing. It should have just been silent. Everybody on mute. Bitch, go. What would have been cool to put people that are generally ranked as eight through tens and then put them in there. Because okay, if everyone in here is hot, who's the hottest? That would have been better. Here's a hot take. I know looks are subjective, but I feel like a lot of the ratings were overinflated because of politeness. I'm not wrong. Everyone behind a screen will tell you how ugly you are, how you need to lose weight, how your skin looks like shit, how you have fucked up teeth. But the moment people get in front of someone and send it to their face or or can say, hey, I don't think you're as attractive as this person, then everyone's so polite all the fucking sudden. But Shay getting an eight and Abram getting a four, I don't agree with that. Personally, I think that Abram is more attractive than Shay is. Respectfully. Even though I don't particularly like Errol based off of nothing factual, he should have been in the top 10 for sure. I would say Alex. Alex is short, but like, look at his fit, good beard. I would have put him in the top 10. If I was in there and if they said, everyone took off your makeup, I'd still be in that top. Yeah, my eyebrows might be gone, but I, I still carry it. Take off your wig. Okay, you might got me there. This shit was fucking rigged. Rigamore. Rigamaru. And that's gonna lead us into this week's short poem. I go hungry without your praise. Your words fill my satisfaction. Don't make me feel like a fool. My heart is not an attraction. And that's the end of the video. If you liked what you've heard and liked what you've seen, follow me on everything at LKP. I love to know what you think. Until then, safe travels. When I'm with you, it's like chaos. Talking's just one thing you do with your